Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am taking you guys along with me to get matching tattoos with my sister. We're just gonna go to our local shop that's about 20 minutes away and we're gonna get tattoos. Her boyfriend is taking us. So I'm super excited. I usually get one every summer, um, but yeah, I'm just wanting to add on to my little collection I have going on. Right now, I'm just editing skincare and brush my teeth I'm probably gonna brush my teeth first and then do skincare just because I feel like there's stuff left over from the toothpaste that'll just take care of it so I just want to get it all done okay I'm gonna put my hair up um, but I'll show you guys what I've been using um hair looks crazy but it's okay Okay, now that teeth are brushed, I'm going to do my skincare, and I just started this skincare routine just this week, so it's brand new for me, but what I've been using is the Thayer's pH Balancing Daily Cleanser because I have very dry skin. It used to be extremely oily when I was younger, but now it's super dry, and I just did my lash extensions last night, so I'm trying to be careful now when I wash my face. Then I use this bristled um, electric cleansing brush. I've just been using this and I've noticed a drastic difference on my skin. And I'm super happy because when I was in New York, my skin was not the best. Now let's do that for about a minute and I don't do too much just cause I don't want to irritate my face or anything. So I'm going to do my, I try to keep it in the same brand just so my skin, because they use similar uh, chemicals, but I just use the Thayer's spray toner and then I think it's like an Ole um, moisturizer and then I start my makeup. So yeah. Okay, I'm hoping this isn't too up close and personal, um, but I need to start on my makeup. I did start just in time actually. Um, Oh, this is Pons. That's this is the moisturizer that I use. Yeah. But I'm just I'm gonna do a full face just because I wanna take some Polaroids at the tattoo shop. This is gonna be like my sixth tattoo, I think. Um, I'm really hunched over right now looking crazy, but my eyebrows are like eyebrows faint for in the face and it's the most important part for me, so I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because that could actually take like a bazillion years to do. So the eyebrows are done. Um, to clean it up with, I use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer um, Satin Finish in the shade Deep Olive because um, I usually like to highlight under the brows. And then for on top of the brows, I found that it looked better on me to be more subtle with my foundation color. So I did use my foundation color. Um, it's the Fit Me Matte Poreless Normal to Oil uh, Lee, and then I think, okay, it's in the shade 355. Clearly this isn't like a makeup tutorial type video, but I know on TikTok, a lot of people were asking how I do my nose contour, especially for like, it's beginner friendly, I feel like, the way that I contour, because majority of the time... I use this when I'm living in the city because this is kind of my permanent makeup uh, routine but majority of the time I'm rushing so I just like to quickly do a little something to my nose so it's just it's simple okay so I'm at the stage of contouring and for this I use the elf hydrating camel concealer just like the other one that I use for under the eyes I use the one for my eyebrows that's in um, deep olive that one for the under eyebrows and then for the 
highlights under my eyes, I use the shade Light Beige. And so for the contour, I use the shade Rich Ebony. And I, well, this is the first time I'm dotting them, but I can still get the same result because a little goes a long way with the e.l.f. product. I just did a dot under the tip of my nose and then two dots on the side. And then for contouring on the cheeks, I just do two dots because this is a lot darker than my shade. But I always start with the nose and I just do up brushing strokes and then... I go down and I literally just outline the shape of my nose and of course if you want it to be more snatched like at your bridge of your nose then you can even go in a little further and manipulate those shadows but I just really like to pronounce um, the tip of my nose honestly I giving it gives who from who's like it I, that's what I'm trying to get with this nose and then I always will go kind of on top just to separate like the bridge from like the tip. But yeah, this is my nose contour. And then real quick, I'm going to go and buff out my cheek contour. See, I use a lot. That's the first time like it's really shown up, but it'll be fine because you just buff it out and continue on. Now... Now I am rushing because I have like 28 minutes to still pick out an outfit and get ready, but... So now I take my powder puff and I take my airspun. I put a little bit of powder on the tip of the powder puff. And then I go on to the highlighted part of the tip of my nose. And then I go up the bridge and I kind of can get a little sloppy towards the end. Because, like, all that's just highlighted. So that's how I do the bridge of my nose. And then I always wait, hold off on setting my under eyes. Just to give, like, it time to, um, to oxidize. Yes, to oxidize. So then I, after I'm done with that, I go in with my powder puff and do a light layer. Because I don't want to look ashy under the eyes since it's such a bright translucent. Um, so I go under my tip. Like that, with the air spun. Then I continue up the bridge and just really carve that out. And then I just do the other side real quick. And I'll just kind of connect those two lines and then that's how I nose contour. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup because I've got 25 minutes left. So yeah. On the way. <laughs> At the tattoo shop. Ooh. We're waiting for our artist. How are you feeling, Madison? I'm excited. Excited for? I think I'm, my tattoo. I think I'm gonna get it right here. So, like how I suggested. <laughs> Like how Phil suggested, because he's right all the time. We just got our paperwork done, and we're about to go in. She brought out some, like, sizing options for it. And I'll show you when she puts the stencil on it. So here's the tattoo. And that's the placement I'm thinking. It's my biggest one. I'm scared. That's cute, though, right? I think I like it. I'm not as serious about getting them anymore. Here's the outfit, by the way. Three, two, one. guys it's a bit dim but she just got done I love it and I'm also just not as picky with my tattoos anymore on the placement so I just opted for this just because it's opposite of this 
And then she also touched up my little flower for free. Like, I literally love her. Her name's Evan Phillips. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, she's cleaning up the station right now to do my sister's tattoo, and I'm very excited to see the outcome of that. It's her bunny. And my bunny. The Polaroids are marinating. We are on our way to either find food or go bowling. I'm gonna leave. We have to leave this on for overnight. Yeah, we're gonna text our friends to meet us up for bowling. We're at your feet, Philip. Oh no. We're at the bowling rink. So we're bowling and we've got our own lane. It's a lot of people behind us, but we will keep scoring. Go, you're gonna waste our time. You got this. You go, Glen Coco. I thought those were going to get on basically fill up on everything. I did. It's almost 11 so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed but thank you guys all so much for watching. I had so much fun today. The tattoo looks phenomenal and she did touch up my other one from New York so I'm super happy. But I will talk to you guys in my next video.